What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today we are going to be doing a how-to and review of this gun skin. So stick around. It should be a pretty good video. So like I said before the intro rolled, we are going to be going over how to install some parts of this gun skin kit. We're not going to do a full install because that would take literally two hours. Um, and then I'm going to come back and give you some thoughts on the kit, how I thought it went, how I think the durability of the kit is, how I feel the texture is, and all kinds of different stuff at the end. And uh, should be a pretty sweet little video. Before we really start, I would like to ask you guys to go hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean the absolute ton to me. Also, if you are into free stuff, I'm doing a giveaway right now. The giveaway will last between now and January 31st of 2021. The giveaway includes a rifle barrel from Diamondback Firearms, a Diamondback Firearms lower parts kit, a primary arms 4 to 14 first focal plane scope as well as a hoodie from my new merchandise collection so if you like free stuff go down to the links in the description and you can check it out there it's super easy to enter uh, you just follow what I ask you to do in the description and you're entered to win like I said that ends on January 31st of 2021 so let's get right into a little bit of install. I'm gonna go over kind of how to do the mag and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I did kind of parts of the upper receiver. I'm not gonna go into super great detail, but I will show you guys how it's done. So let's go over to my couch in my living room to show you guys how to install this gun skin kit. We have the Prevail Victory gun skin, which is an American flag gun skin. They were kind enough to send it out. I'm going to be putting it on my Palmetto State Armory AR-15 and a magazine. And we're going to see how well the gun skin goes on, if it's easy, and what kind of what kind of quality it is. I have no experience with gun skin. I have no experience putting on any vinyl, anything. So this is a whole new, new process for me. So uh, hopefully it turns out all right. So um, without further ado, let's get right into actually putting on this gun skin. So some of the items that were recommended that we use were a butane torch, an X-Acto knife, and a sponge, as well as some CRC brake cleaner. So the first thing we're going to do to put on this gun skin is clean off the rifle. So I got some CRC brake cleaner, uh, non-chlorinated, and we're just going to blast it off real quick. Um, this is what the instructions recommend to do. I've also seen people do alcohol, uh, so just Give it a good cleaning. I think it's about good. Uh, Alright, let's go put the sticker on. Okay, so now that we have the rifle cleaned and the mags cleaned, we're going to put on the first thing on the list and that is the mag so the gun skin chart is numbered um, there's one to 15 steps I believe and you're supposed to put these on an order to give it the best look that you can get um, so let's start with the magazine first things first is we are going to put on the mags this is the left side of the magazine we are going to take this so I think you just want to center it up here. And you want to press it down, then you want to take your butane torch. Hit it with some heat. And take your sponge and press it in. And it should mold over everything. I might switch to a wash rag. This sponge is a little. So now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go back over with your little uh, with your little exacto knife and pick out any bubbles that's left after you've melted it. All right, let's put that other side on. Supposed to. 
you when you do your magazine you want to make sure that you get like if you want it to look really good you can make sure you poke some holes where the PMAG is and make sure it fills out the PMAG really good. Let's start, let's move this out of the way. Let's start the actual rifle itself. So, right there's one. So let's find two. Alright, so there, then you go left upper receiver. It's this one. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bolt back. This thing has been cleared and checked and everything, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's move the bolt all the way back, actually. Actually, you know what? Let's, before we put that one on, let's do the rail pieces. So let's, let's drop in the top pick rail. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and kind of cut it right here where the upper receiver meets the uh, the lower receiver or the upper receiver meets the rail. So that yeah, I might use a, like a card of some sort to get down. I'm gonna use my food line MVP card. Pretty close to it. For shame. For shame. I think we're gonna hit it with the hair dryer now.
So guys, you saw the install there, and the install went pretty well. Um, there was a lot of difficult parts and pieces. The rail was probably, well, the rail and the stock were probably the most difficult parts on the whole entire kit. Um, just because there weren't pre-cut out pieces, the, the upper receiver and the lower receiver, the grip and the mag wheel were pretty easy to do if I'm being completely honest. Any imperfections were really because I, <laughs> I don't really know how to do the kit when I first started. Um, I was a learning process for me. I've never done a vinyl uh, gun skin kit before so it was the first time. Um, but like I said the rail was a lot. It took a lot of cutting out and it was very strenuous. Um, at a far I feel like the kit did very well on the rifle. Um, I think it looks pretty good. There's obvious imperfections if you get right up to it. Um, for example, on the rail, I also got too close with the blowtorch a few times, smoked a few pieces, and just, you know, user error really. Somebody that's experienced with this kit could probably kill it. And in terms of like actual feel and durability, I mean, the grip feels great, the mag feels great, the mag textured up really well. If anything, I think the magazine is the cleanest part of this whole entire gun kit. It looks absolutely nasty. Um, I think, I, if anything, I would buy more magazine kits than I would the gun kits themselves, just because of how great the magazine looks. It also did pretty well on the stock. Um, I, I used a stock that I don't usually use with this rifle and because I don't like the color, this is a gray color, so I just put the gun skin kit over it, and I think it did a pretty good job, um, as well as the grip. The grip's on a gray uh, grip, because I didn't want to put it on my black grip, because I don't really like the gray. So I think it did a good job covering both of those up. Um, in terms of durability, this stuff is tough. We're out here at the range, we've been messing with it all afternoon, I've dropped it on rocks, we took it, and took it all over the place and I haven't scratched any of the kit up but I mean it's pretty thick vinyl I think it did a very good job in terms of protecting your rifle and um, is a very good alternative method if you want to coat your rifle compared to like Duracoat or um, spray painting it and uh, other options like that so I think that about does it for the video I will link the gun skin kit down below. It'll take you to gun skin. You can pick up this exact kit. This is the victory kit. Um, America, you know. And uh, it's only, it's not that expensive. It was like 65 some dollars. And uh, pretty, pretty great deal. I would like to thank gun skin for sending it out to me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I think that about does it guys. Like I said before, you watched me install. Go, go, go sign up for the giveaway. Um, we're giving away a ton of great stuff. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please go hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean an absolute ton to me. Also, comment down below what you thought of the video, what you'd like to see next. It would mean a lot. So I think that about does it, guys. As always, take someone outdoors, and I will see y'all next time.